St. Augustine's streets are an intricate map of civil rights history. Dr. Martin Luther King came to St. Augustine to push movement efforts forward, speaking around the city and working alongside local branches of the NAACP. The protests in the city drew media attention at the international level in the spring of 1964, leading up to the signing of the Civil Rights Act. The Accord Museum and Freedom Trail remembers and honors St. Augustine's role in the civil rights movement. I'm Spencer Hooker, and this is Watering Our Roots, an exploration into the black history in St. Augustine. Today, we're celebrating the Accord Museum and Freedom Trail. Accord is an acronym for Anniversary to Commemorate the Civil Rights Demonstrations. The Accord Freedom Trail and Museum is dedicated to acknowledging the rich civil rights history that occurred in the streets we walk every day, with over 30 sites that mark where the demonstrations took place. This is Andrew Young Crossing, one of the sites on the Accord Freedom Trail. On June 9, 1964, Andrew Young led a march into the Plaza de la Constitución. The protesters were met with brutal violence. As Young crossed the street, he was struck down multiple times. Young later served as the United States Ambassador for the United Nations and became the 55th Mayor of Atlanta. The Court Freedom Trail marker reminds us of his bravery and determination. The Court Civil Rights Museum houses a collection of articles, stories, and artifacts. The building itself is part of the attraction. It was once Dr. Robert B. Hanling's dental office. Dr. Robert Hanling was a civil rights leader in St. Augustine. As advisor to the St. Augustine NAACP Youth Council and head of the St. Augustine chapter of the Southern Christian Leadership Council, Hanling held many strategic meetings and planning sessions at his office. 